that color I did. And that one. Hey guys, welcome to Chiller, Real, Chiller Thriller Readathon day 11. It should be 10 and 11. Um, I didn't do an intro for 10. Um, so happy Chiller Thriller Readathon day 10. 10 was kind of just a chill day. I didn't really do anything. Um, sorry for here. They're doing construction. Um, I was reading Hex Education and I DNF'd it. I was not liking it. And I was tired of reading books I did not like for my readathon. Um, I am going to be reading Hitch Hitchcock Hotel. I'm going to start that today. Um, I was playing Zelda. Uh, the new Zelda game yesterday. I really did like that. I was coloring. So today I'm going to start Hitchcock Hotel. Hopefully I really do like that. And hopefully I can finish it for the readathon. But other than that, I've read all of my books for the readathon. So I'm very proud of myself. Just except for um, Hex Education. But other than that, I read everything else. So hope you guys are having a fantastic readathon. See you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, welcome back. I um, wanted to give you guys a little update on the book, The Hitchcock Hotel. I've read to page 73. Um, here, here's my little tabs. Um, I'm liking this book a lot better than The Hex Education. It's really good. Um, basically it follows Alfred. Um, his mom named him after Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, it follows him and he gets this hotel and he renovates it to like make it be um, like he, he collects like memorabilia stuff from Alfred Hitchcock films and he invites his friends back from college and they're not so nice people so far and I'm thinking he's going to murder them but I don't know um, that's what I'm just thinking so it's like setting up the plot but like I said, I'm really liking this a lot better than um, Hex Education. And it's a little bit of a mystery because we don't... Something happened in school, in college, that makes them a little bit not like Alfred. But I don't know what happened yet. I'm not that far into it. And my cat just jumped on the bed. <laughs> um, but I really am liking it. It matches my nails too. So I'll probably finish this before the 15th, before the readathon is over. But I also wanted to, I got a package from Amazon, I wanted to show you guys. I got two books from their Prime Prime Day thing they had. Like I said, I didn't go crazy because there really wasn't many books I wanted there. But I did pick up The Housemaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden. The first one, The Housemaid, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, The Housemaid. That's being made into a movie. I'm so excited. Um, I love that book. I've already read it, but I'm going to reread it again because I read it on my Kindle and I want to read it physically. Um, but that's being made into a movie, so I'm super excited about that. But I read this one on my Kindle too, and I have not read the third one yet. So I want to reread them all physically. So look out for that. I might do like a spoily readathon, like a reader um, vlog about that. But we'll see. This is the second book. And then, I know it's may come as a shock to you guys, but I got the first book, Twilight, by Stephanie Meyer. I have never read Twilight. Um, I guess this is like the season of the, um, like, Twilight, I, I guess. Um, because I've been seeing a lot of stuff pop up on my TikTok and my Facebook and my YouTube, um, about Twilight. So I guess this is like a thing now. That, like, in autumn is Twilight. <laughs> I never knew that. Um, I did try to read this back in the day, like, when I first, first, first started a YouTube channel. Um, like, way back in the day. Like, my old YouTube channel, not this one, but, like, way back in the day. Um, and it was before I used audiobooks, and I didn't like it. So I'm thinking, because I didn't, I'm not really good at reading books by itself, I'm thinking that with the audiobook, it'll be better. Um... I plan on reading the books and then watching the movies. I have all the movies um, downloaded, so I'm excited to do that. I just hope it's not bad writing. Um, I do like the cover, it's really cute. Um, I do know that there's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, Midnight Sun, and then there's Life and Death, which I think is in the perspective of Edward, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is probably going to be the next book I read after The Hitchcock Hotel. Um, yeah, you guys all know this is about Edward and Bella, vampires, and all that fun stuff. Um, it just seems so weird to be reading it because this is like a book that like 
it's been out for a while, hasn't it? I feel like it's been out for a long time. And I feel so weird reading it, but yeah, I'm excited to read it. So that'll be the next book I read. So if you guys have read that book, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, like I said, I have watched all of the movies, um, but I kind of forgot what happened. Um, I did like the movies. I'm not really a Christian Stewart fan. It's kind of what she did to Robert Pattinson. I love him so much. He's, he's an amazing person. Um, and I like what he stands for and stuff, but her, not so much. So, um, I don't know if I really like the movies as much now, but, um, let me know if you guys have read the books. Do you like the books? Are the books better than the movies? Let me know. Um, yeah, I think that's all for tonight for this vlog. This is day, what are we in? Day 11, my Harry Potter case. Oh, and I also have all the Harry Potter movies. I'm probably going to marathon them, um, probably this week too. So I'm probably going to either watch Grotesquia, or I think it's what you call it, um, on Hulu tonight, or play some Zelda, um, since I, since I did read my pages tonight for my book, or I'm just going to just chill and watch a movie, color, like I normally do. Um, yeah, that's probably just what I'm going to do. Um, we did have a Beetlejuice, I don't think I posted the pictures, but we did have a Beetlejuice movie night. Um, I made cupcakes, I made green cupcakes with like little worms on them, and then I made Alfredo like spaghetti and I tried to dye the alfredo sauce black but kind of came out like gray I'll show you a picture of that um so I did that the movie was okay um I would give it out of a one out of five like a three maybe um uh, yes cat cake by the way um I would give it yeah like a one out of three like I'd give it a three um there was a lot of storylines that didn't need to be there um we didn't see Beetlejuice as much I would have liked to see more of the afterworld, like, like you know, down, like, I think it's the afterlife. The afterlife. I, would have I would have liked to see more of that. Um, I thought, like, I felt like some storylines were just too long. Beetlejuice's wife, there was no need for that. Like, that was just a pointless character, I thought. Um, and, yeah, it wasn't as good as the first one. I, I really, I think the first one stands up as, to test the time as one of the best Beetlejuice movies. Um, I don't think the second one can come can can compare to the first one um i also am planning on doing probably i don't know if we'll be in before i finish um the chill through the readathon on the 15th but i am planning on doing a deadpool and wolverine um themed dinner because we're going to watch that movie um so you might see it if it's before the 15th if not i'll try to do like a cute little quick vlog for you guys to see it because I'm very excited to see that movie. I have like a shirt and everything. I'm going to do a themed dinner and, and themed dessert. Um, I've decided what I might do like half of like maybe do a cake and then do like frost it. We do like half Deadpool, half Wolverine, like half red, half yellow. I don't know. I haven't, haven't decided yet. Um, or some cookies or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on. And I'll talk to you guys either by the end of tonight or I'll see you guys in Chilla Thriller Readathon Day 12. I can't believe it's already day 12. And I pretty much almost finished all of my books. I'm so proud of myself. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye guys.